Hey guys, I'm back with another video. This time I'm going to show you the probably best build in Stardew Valley 1.5. I've already used it in my other video where I went to floor 176 of the new Skull Cavern and got 17 treasure rooms. So check it out if you haven't done so. One of the new weapons introduced in 1.5 is the Iridium Needle. It's a dagger and it has, wait for it, plus 200 crit power and plus 6 crit chance. I'm still not sure what the plus 6 crit chance exactly mean, but according to the wiki the Iridium Needle has a crit chance of 10% which you can figure out by looking into the game files. By forging it inside the Volcano Dungeon with an Aquamarine Gem you can up your crit chance by another 4.6% and you can do this up to 3 times. The scout skill from the level 5 combat tree increases this by another 50% and with two aquamarine rings that increase your crit chance by 10% each, you can up that to an incredible 43% crit chance, making you crit almost every other hit. And with the new update you can even combine those rings inside the volcano dungeon with iridium bands, crapshire rings or whatever you like. Normally when you crit you deal 3 times the damage. The 200 crit power on a dagger makes it so you deal 7 times the damage instead. And the desperado skill from the level 10 combat tree doubles this so you deal an insane 14 times the damage. And finally, the special move from daggers. When you right click with a dagger you unleash a flurry of stabs. And with so much crit chance you're almost guaranteed to crit at least once. Concerned Ape even buffed it by halving the cooldown from 6 to 3 seconds. And by using the Forge you can also put enchantments on weapons by using a Prismatic Shard. One of them is called Artful which decreases the cooldown by another 50% to make it a 1.5 second cooldown. So now let's test it out by using it inside the new mines on different floors. As you can see I basically one shot everything by using my special move and trust me some of those monsters are pretty tanky. Let's do the same inside the new Skull Cavern. Isn't it satisfying how I one shot like 4 of those serpents? I can even one shot the big slimes. And finally in the Volcano Dungeon. Instead of those flamey things bouncing back several times, I can just one shot them by right clicking. if I can hit them. Admittedly, the small range is still kind of a drawback, but that's why I always carry a sword with me as well. So you might be asking yourself where you can get this new shiny dagger. Well, it has a chance to drop from those special slimes inside the new mines. You can recognize them by their little antenna with a small yellow star. To get to the new mines you have to first unlock the golden walnut door on Ginger Island by collecting at least 100 golden walnuts. If you haven't done so yet, check out my other video where I show you the location of all 130 of them. Once you're inside the room you can get a quest called Danger in the Deep, which resets your mine and transforms it into a new and more difficult version of it and also resets the elevator. Now you have one week to get to the bottom again. After finishing the quest you can go to the 120th floor and activate the Shrine of Challenge to make the changes permanent. So if you enjoyed my video leave a like, comment if you have any questions and subscribe if you want to see more content. Also be sure to check out my other videos on my channel.